So I'm not I'm sure if I'm the only one that took forever to figure out how to sew on a button to make the strings <laughs> line up, but I thought I'd make a little video just to share. So I made an X with my chalk where I want my button. I go through one side of the chalk on the top and bottom of the middle line. I did knot my string because it's just faster to have a double string than to do a bunch of whole a whole bunch of single line stitches. But through two pieces two side two of the holes and then back through the other side and then go through the two remaining holes in the same direction. And that makes your, your buttons go this way. So if you're sewing up and down on the fabric, your, your lines on your button are gonna go the other direction. And it looks so much neater than I used to do buttons because I used to stitch every which way trying to get the button lined up because I couldn't figure out which way I went and which way I needed to go to get the holes straight. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm the only one that couldn't figure this out and took me forever for some weird reason. but. That is how you line up your buttonholes to go in the right direction. And with the double thread, I just go through each hole about three times. And that's strong enough to hold it because it shouldn't be taking a lot of pressure anyway because that will make the garment buckle. And then to knot it, what I do is I take the string, I wrap it around three times, and pull it through. Oops. And then I wrap it, getting everything tingled. And I wrap it around my button three times. And then I do one more little knot because I have had buttons come off not long after I've sewn them because I didn't do it this way and it's really frustrating. And then to hide my tail, I run the needle between the fabric layers And snip it just like that. <laughs> 